if you want to fly FPV and you want to fly well, you need to have your OSD settings dialed in. OSD stands for On Screen Display, and these are configured in Betaflight. So once you've clicked a setting you want, like latitude and longitude, you can drag and drop those within the grid in the beta flight screen. This may not be intuitive, I overlooked it. Now GPS latitude and longitude should, in my opinion, be the first, and it's actually, in my opinion, also the most important OSD setting. But there are other settings that are important too. The reason latitude and longitude are so important is because if you lose your drone, you can go and find it uh, by using the recording from your goggle view of the latitude and longitude OSD display. Now, there are other nice things to have, like battery voltages. So let's get those in there. What else? A lot of options here. And it is a guess and check thing as you get your any specific drone dialed in for a type of flight. So just scan through the options and see what you like. Uh, and it's absolutely okay to try these different things. Now, if you're brand new to FPV, the first time you're watching this, uh, your beta flight's installed on your computer, Google for that software, and then you've connected your computer to the flight controller on your drone. Let's just assume you bought a bind and fly drone. So that's what... We got that setting configured there. GPS speed. Let's go ahead and put that right under our position. There we go. Now, if you don't drag and drop things, items will just overlap each other and you won't actually see them. So if you click GPS twice, for example, you'll just see the first one you clicked because they'll be overlapped. Uh, we'll do a test of the latitude longitude. You can see that when it's in degrees, minutes, seconds, it takes up a lot more space. So we're gonna switch that back to decimal degrees with four decimals to minimize the screen space. So enough that it's helpful, but not too much that it's distraction, distracting. Home direction, home distance. We'll use home distance because that could be helpful for finding a lost drone and we'll leave it in the center there. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, if you are using the DJI O3 air unit, you're going to have items like battery voltage, signal strength, uh, goggle battery displayed by default, and you can also display grid lines. So you do have options from the DJI system for your on-screen display, so keep that in mind, and those won't be covered in this tutorial. So we have this flight time indicator, so we'll pop that in the bottom left-hand corner, which is where we have our battery information. And then once you do all this, before you go out and fly, in your backyard, if you have one, or in a safe spot, you know, put a fan on your, your drone so it doesn't overheat, and test out your settings. Make sure they look the way you've configured them. ECE temperature, that's another one that's good to have. Uh, it's good to know if your drone's overheating for a reason or if it's an abnormality. So, you know, similar to if you were flying an airplane or driving a vehicle, you need good gauges to help understand what's going on with the drone. Disarm, that's one I definitely want to have. Um, if you're new to the FPV world, put that on there, leave that on there. Um, so you know when the drone's armed for flight or disarmed for flight and there's no guessing to it.
Okay, that just about does things for this tutorial. We have a warnings column on the right side, and oh, yep, we want our flight modes too, so we'll pop those in there, and we will set them on this top left corner too. One thing I will say is uh, if you're getting to a signal loss position, say you get the, the drone out of line of sight, you can pop into horizon mode, then l increase your elevation with your throttle stick very quickly, uh, and perhaps activate GPS rescue if that's an option for you. Hopefully it is at that point. Um, so there's just another pro tip there. Okay, just scanning through this configuration, everything looks good. We're going to save it out. In any case, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around. False ending. Let's get those GPS sats in there and keep them in that top right hand corner. That's good information to have because that's where the latitude and longitude come from and the speedometer. So we want to know how many sats we have when we're flying because the flight information in the top left hand corner is dependent on that. I guess I learned something new today. All right, now we'll go through with the outro. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.